What's it like in the offensive coaches meeting room right now? The level of frustration, the level of determination. Hey man, we're just trying. To, no, there's no. I mean, just trying to get better. It's the same as every week. We try to go in and evaluate what we did and um, get better for the following week. When you watched the tape, was there anything that stood out? Oh, we just got to play better. We got to coach better. We got to play better and execute. This is about execution, and um, you know, but we've got to do a better job as, as an offensive unit, and, and that starts with coaching. Coach, uh, Zeke's had 50 carries in the past two weeks. Uh, is that more than you guys had targeted for him, or more or less? Or? No, I wouldn't say that. I don't think we came in and said we were going to target. We have to carry so many times, and um, you know, we haven't had those kind of conversations. But, but he has, he's had some carries, and um, you know, we're going to do what we need to do to win football games. Tony, it's funny, though. It seems like the, the fans' sentiment, even though he has touched, touched the ball 25 times this past week, is why aren't they giving the ball to Zeke more? Why do you think it kind of looks or feels like that? Sometimes? Oh, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. They're the ones asking that question. I don't know. I mean, See, <laughs> the guy's you, carrying the ball 27 like times a game. I mean, and if someone says he's not carrying it enough, I don't. I, I, I can't answer that for you. Do, but is he carrying it enough in your mind? Yeah, he's doing fine. Yeah, he's had eight straight games now of 100 yards or more. You've been here for the past three. Um, is that a streak? Is or you know, obviously you're not trying to keep that going statistically, but is it good to see that? I mean, yeah, I mean, again, we're not trying to keep streaks alive, Ryan, or anything of that nature. But um, if if that's what it takes to to win games, fantastic. Um, again, you know, we've got it. We've, we've got some things we got to do to get better, obviously, and and uh, including Zeke and including me as his coach. So, if that's what it takes, so then, then great. When you're a coach at uh, a new school, how much of what you do is you know bringing in new ideas versus like assimilating into the offense that's already in place. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, there's there's a part of that. But I don't know, how, when do I stop being new? I mean, I'm, <laughs> Next season, maybe? You know, I guess. I, I mean, I'm just asking. But, but yeah, I mean, I think there's there's a degree of that that goes on. But um, and a lot of it's just assimilating to, to, to what's been done in the past. And um, but, if, but if new coaches that are coming in have something to provide and, and something that's useful, then, then we'll certainly look at that. You saw this offense do what it did last year from afar. You mm -hmm. studied it in the offseason. How surprised are you with what the production has been so far? Again, I, you know, I, I don't know if I'd say I'm su surprised, not surprised. I don't know if those are the right words to use. I know when I started watching this offense, you know, like everyone else, that was at the end of the year. And uh, we're four weeks in. Got a lot of football to still be played. And, and again, every day we're going to go in and just get better and and uh, we have we've got to perform, but we did not perform well enough to the standards of, of this university and this football program. And we've got to do a better job. Why are you guys struggling against the odd front? Why are we struggling against the odd front? What do you know about the odd front? I know that it means that there's a not a four-three defense, and three down line. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard no, time. No, go ahead. No, no. She knows, she knows her stuff. <laughs> I know, right? My <laughs> wife asked me that. That's <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, you know, you're getting a lot of different things, and um, uh, I won't say this out of the ordinary for some. You know, I mean, you look at Northern; they weren't a heavily odd front team, and, and they were, and. Um, you know why are we struggling? That's that's something I guess we just got to continue to go back and, and just really play fast and go and let our guys go and not so much thinking and and, and just you know put it down in front of them and, and and go. Do those so. linemen shooting gaps the way they do affect your base plays at all? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, again, it, there's so many things that are involved in, in this uh, when you start just kind of like building a car. There's different aspects to everything, and and we need to, again the overriding thing is we've got to. Play better. We've got to coach better, as I said earlier, and in all facets of what we're doing on the offensive side of the ball. And you know, for me, I'm not going to speak for the offensive line, the receivers, the quarterback. For me, I've got to do a better job with the running backs wholesale, and, and um, that's what I'm here to do, and that's what I'm going to do. Is Mike Weber going to return this week, Tony? And we'll see. That's a that's a day to day deal. That's a day to day deal as he, as he works through with the trainers and the it, doctors. Chances are good he won't redshirt this year. Is that safe to say? Or you... yeah, again, I mean. That was not the plan for him to redshirt or everything of that nature. But again, we'll see where he's at with his knee and how quickly he can come back and um, be able to play winning football for us. Thank Is you. it true that following the, the NIU win that Urban Meyer promised the team in the locker room that the offense would improve? <laughs> what we say in that room is in our room. Okay, well, it got out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if, she's, let's, let's, she's impressive. Well, let's, let's say hypothetically he did. I'm not, I'm not, I'm guys? not into hypothetical things. What we say in those rooms just stays in those rooms. Hey, okay. Tony, can you How's that? That's fine. All right. Um, a long time ago, but when you were an assistant um, at Kent State. Wow, that goes way back, yeah, yeah. 20 years ago or so. Um, what do you think 
what do you remember of the unique challenges of recruiting and trying to make a team like Kent State with the huge amount of numbers that you guys are looking at when you're looking? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, man, that goes, you know, that was my first job, and, and, and I just remember being so excited to be, you know, but but when you go into a, a to a school and um, Kent State's not a, a, it's not renowned, it's not a, What's the word I'm looking for? It's not a popular name, if you will, or at least it was not when I was when I was coaching there back in I think '95 or '96. Um, so, uh, you know, the the thing was trying to sell that program, and 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 what does this school have to offer? Now, I was in a little unique position of, that I was raised there, you know, that that I that I was raised in Kent, Ohio, and and my father played there, and my my mom and dad actually worked on that campus, so. Um, I had a little different perspective on that place because of, I'd been there my entire life. But um, but just like anywhere else, it has its challenges, and, and just as Ohio State has its challenges. And um, now, now what those challenges are today, 20 some odd years later, I, I I couldn't tell you. You know, Paul Paul'd have to tell you what that's about. But you guys have a very probably a small number of prospects that can fit what you guys are looking for. And like when they go to a camp, there's maybe 300 kids that they yeah. might be looking at. Yeah. I mean, just in your mind, just knowing how many people that you have to be responsible for in today's day, can you imagine what it would be like to have to recruit a way larger number? Yeah, that, and that's that's where I think it really comes down to doing a great job of evaluation. And just like here, it's it's, it's you have to evaluate. And you have to be good evaluators of talent and and projecting talent and really have a have a great idea with the wholesale with your staff is exactly what is it you're looking for. Um, just like here, just because a guy is a five star doesn't mean he fits. Doesn't mean he fits Ohio State. Um, but what is it that it exactly is that you're looking for within your program, within your offense and defense, special team schemes? Um, and then and then does that does that young guy fit all of those fit all those boxes and be able to check all those boxes off? But you have to you do, you you have to have a wide net. You have to have a very wide net and um, you know, and there are different philosophies how you got to go about it. Do you stay right in the, you know, in the geographical area? I mean, I, everyone has a different perspective on how they should should go about that. From a skill set perspective, uh, what are you looking for in Ohio State running back recruit? One guy, obviously, uh, guys that are tough, guys that really love playing this game. I mean, you have to really love playing the game of football. And um, the only the only way you can really get to to garner that is to spend time. You know, I, I think there's there's a bunch of time that needs to be spent building relationships with guys and and um, establishing and that rapport and being able to really understand what is it that you really want and is this is this really what you want because um, it's not easy it's not easy to win it's um, there's a lot of work that's put in and, and you got the only time the only way you can figure that out is by really getting to know people but you know on the athletic side of the thing you want guys that can obviously good speed and agilities and. You know, I think um, our running backs have to have, they got to be little bigger bodied guys. You know, um, that doesn't, I understand, I don't mean 250, 40 pounds, but I mean, doesn't mean I wouldn't recruit a guy that's 180 pounds. I'm not saying that what, whatsoever, but guys that can, they have a physical nature about them that can, that can be able to hold up just by the nature of what we do. Okay, may I try Last one more? <laughs> Western Michigan has given up over 200 yards rushing a game so far this season. What is it that, they have been doing that maybe they've struggled with it. Oh, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. We're still in the preliminary stages of watching them. And, you know, the biggest thing for us right now, to be quite frank with you, is, is we got to go in and, and do what we do. And we have to get better and, and not really worry about um, our, our opponents, if you will, if that, if that makes sense. Right now, it's just, this is about us and making sure that we're getting better every single day in our skill set and what we do. How's that? I think you're doing fine. Thanks. Coach, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. No problem. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I have fun right. with you.